Okay, in this video, what we're going to do is go over the account settings. Here we have personal information. Now, the personal information is what controls a lot of the aspects of your account. What I want to point out is these are the personal details that you entered when you first created your account. And this is not displayed on the capture pages. The second item is primary group. And you want to go ahead and set this to all subscribers. You have the choice of admin silver or gold, but you want to keep it on all subscribers. Now, email notifications. If you want to add more, you can. The benefit of that is being able to access email from say two different people if you have a partner in business. You can add as many emails there as you would like to. Next is the additional fields and these do display on your pages. So this is where you want to put the name that will appear on your pages whether it's your personal name, your first name, your business name, a team name, whatever it is, this is where you put that. This will be the phone number that shows up on your capture pages. And here's the email address that will also show up. So what we'll do here, show name. So we change that. We're implementing more and more social aspects on the site. So you want to fill out the Skype ID Perhaps you have a Facebook page, a Twitter page, or Google+, and maybe have a YouTube channel. If you don't, don't worry about it. Now, here's where we get into what controls your capture pages. And we're going to look at the capture page in just a moment. The rest of these capture pages that we have in the system are for other niche markets, whether they're business opportunity, travel, online shopping malls, and you can become familiar with those and they operate the same way but this is a video just to get it done quickly now double opt-in we keep that off and we click save changes that's the first part of the account settings now you have your photo so in this section you want to go ahead and upload a photo that will show on some pages where we specify it and in order to do that, you'll go ahead and upload a photo. It's very important to have it 170 by 170 pixels. So what I've got here is just a photo I took. You see that we chose it and it goes in and we click Upload Photo. And we see the photo arrive there. Now, photos don't always show right up. And if yours doesn't, simply refresh your browser and you should see the photo show. Okay. Now, we'll go back to the third part of the second step. And that's your capture pages. There's nothing more to do with your capture pages then decide which one you want to use as your primary capture page. And for iClub Biz, there are the first four here, and we'll add more later. Right click on it and choose Open a New Tab, and you'll be able to see the different capture pages, how they function, what they look like. But eventually, out of these four, what you want to do is you choose one and you make it your primary page. When we click on that primary page, it's going to take us back to our members area and we'll see that that has now become our primary page by seeing it right here in the members area. And you can see it here. Now if you want to change it, you can simply click here or go back to Capture Pages and click it again. You see the Edit Capture Page, but this is nothing that you need to do. And to see your Capture Page, you can go ahead and click on Visit Your Capture Page. And you'll see it live on a website. 
and then you can also see that this is your link that you want to promote to other people although we've recommended that you get a personal domain name to forward to that link next you want to make sure you edit your signature and if you're going to go ahead and do a custom signature I would just take all of this out and I would put in again name phone email and whatever and then highlight that choose Arial and choose 12 point and save it and you're done that automatically gets attached to the end of all of your autoresponders and the last thing is to set up your text notification you come in here simply enter your cell phone number or make sure it's there choose to turn on your contact notifications and also choose to turn on your calendar notifications save changes and that's it you're all set to market your page and start getting leads and we're gonna have other training that you can find here in the resource section on the advanced tools of the iWeb a tool marketing system